and welcome to the October 7th Soap. My name is Steve Wilson, and today's scripture is found in Hebrews 4, verses 10 through 12, and I'll be reading from the New Living Translation. For all who have entered into God's rest have rested from their labors, just as God did after creating the world. So let us do our best to enter into that rest. But if we disobey God, as the people of Israel did, we will fail. For the word of God is alive and powerful. It is sharper than the sharpest two-edged sword, cutting between soul and spirit, between joint and marrow. It exposes our innermost thoughts and desires. The beginning of this chapter gives an account of how the children of Israel were forced to wander in the desert because of their disobedience and their lack of trust in God. As a result, an entire generation were not able into to are able to enter into the promised land and into their rest. The author of Hebrews immediately transitions from talking about the Israelites not being able to enter into their rest due to not trusting God into referencing the power or the word of God, that is, reference to both Christ as the living word and to the revelation or written word. This tells us that unless we truly take God at his word and take his word unto ourselves, we too won't enter into our rest. Now, this isn't referring to salvation, but rather to our daily lives and our heavenly rewards. The contents of the Bible are more than just a collection of words from God, a way for communicating his ideas. It has living, life-changing, and dynamic power that works in us. With the precision of a surgeon's knife, God's word reveals who and what we are and who and what we are not. It penetrates to the core of our moral and spiritual lives. It discerns both the good and the evil within us. It distinguishes our thoughts from God's, our desires from God's, and our wills from God's. If we allow it, God's powerful word will change us. We must not only listen to it, but we must also let it transform our lives. Amir's reflection may give us a likeness of ourselves, but it's a distorted likeness at best, and it's only external. The Word of God is the only thing that can truly reveal our condition and who we are. The Word of God reveals the whole man, particularly in relation to our heart attitudes and our believing faith, that which will enable us to finish our race and enter into rest. In 1 Corinthians 13, 12, when Paul wrote of knowing everything completely, just as God now knows me completely, he is referring to when we will see Jesus face to face. As Jesus is the word, I believe that we can get a taste of being face to face with him by immersing ourselves in his word, studying his word, and allowing it to instruct, to convict, to conform, and to comfort. Not only by being hearers of the word, but by being doers of his word. Let's pray. The psalmist says, the word is Thy word is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. And we thank you that you have made a way for us to have it and to take it into our lives. We pray that as we embrace your word, it does its intended work in us, setting us free from ourselves, equipping us to do your will, and transforming us into your image. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless. Thank you.